Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying five flavors of cake from the original Cakery. We have, the first one is Cookie Dough Cake, and then we have Tuxedo Truffle Mousse Cake. We have a Strawberry Shortcake, Tiramisu, and a Lemons and Cream. So, let me um, open these for you so we can see. That's why we're starting over here is because we want to see how these open. And then we'll go through and we'll talk about calories and all that stuff. I'm not quite sure how these open. There we go. That's, that's how that opens, just like that. Okay, and then the truffle. Let's like the see. cookie pieces or whatever on top. That looks good. It smells really good, too. So it looks like they've they put them in these nice containers, but then they're sealed uh, by the sticker. So the sticker on the side, and it's you see, it's not any big deal at all. I'm just cutting that, and then I'm gonna open it up. So like if you were to buy these and take them out to your car, you could probably um, do this um, with your keys or something if you want to eat it in your car. Yeah, and they sold the two sizes. They sold the smaller size and they hold, sold the bigger size. And they had one bigger than that even. Yes, they? they have one bigger than this. They have one that's actually uh, the size of two of these put together. And uh, so it's extra big. So, let me... I gotta get my hand on it. So there we go. So I can tell you the lemon and the tiramisu, these two were $7.99. The cookie dough one was $6.99. I have no idea why. Hmm. The small sizes were $4.49. The I can I can tell you, even though we didn't buy one, the one that I told you they have like two to put together, they were $20. They were $19.99. So um uh, those are the prices, and they were all bought at Kroger. They were bought at the Kroger Bakery, so where they sell their cakes and stuff like that, that's where you're going to find these. So these were made by America's Bakers, which is Canada. <laughs> Seems like everything we get baked is made in Canada. Um, and Kroger sells a lot. Yeah, a lot of stuff lot. from their bakery comes from Canada. Yeah, it does. So, uh, the original cakery is Canada. Made from scratch cake. This is cookie dough cake, real cookie dough cubes, real whipped cream chocolate with chocolate chips, six decadent layers. Yeah, it looks it, really good. It says a fifth of the cake. Who's going to be able to divide that out? A fifth of the cake, 75 grams, is 260 calories. But I can tell you, like, it oh, looks... Okay. Like the pieces, the, the cookie dough pieces on top are what you would find in like a carton of ice cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they like, look really good. Yeah, like when you buy the package of Ben and Jerry's uh, chocolate chip cookie dough pieces, this is all of them on top. Yeah. Um, it also reminds me of the pre-made cookie doughs that you, you get out and put on the pan and just blend and bake. Yes. If they took those and flattened them out a little bit and chopped them up. The, the ready to bake kind of stuff. Right. They did, this is, these were actually in two areas of the bakery as well. They were in the, they had some in the case, like where they have the case in front of where they, the bakery is. Then in our Kroger, they also had some around the side a little bit in a cooler where the bigger cakes are. Well, um, they were in two different plots. What the deal is, is these are no longer frozen solid because right. they put them in the case for you to buy. If you go around the corner, they're actually in a freezer uh. and typically, if you think about it, if you can get one that's frozen, you should, because the dates are better. The dates are better because they're going to put the, the shortest dates out first. Mm -hmm. So go, if you can wait a couple of days to eat it, go to the freezer part and see if they have the exact same thing there that they didn't have uh, or that, that they had on display, but a better date. That cookie dough pieces do not taste like cookie dough pieces. Uh-huh. Mm. Hmm. I guess they're kind of soft like a cookie dough piece. I hadn't gotten to it yet. They're very soft. Mm -hmm. They don't have that like thick, gritty kind of no, texture. No, they're not gritty. They're kind of soft, almost like cake themselves. Mm -hmm. That's good. I wish they'd used a frosting instead of a, a whipped 
frosting, mm -hmm. but it's basically like whipped cream. Yes. The cake is nice though. Yes, I like the cake quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And the little chocolate chips, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. I really wish the cookie dough pieces had been like real cookie dough pieces that were like that dense, gritty, sugary kind of texture. I do check. I'm kind of disappointed they're not. When I first saw this, my eyes went, wow, cookie dough. Mm -hmm. um, and I was really excited about that. But honestly, that's the least exciting part about this. Yeah, they're kind of blah. Yeah, they're blah. They're not. I like, I'm like Kevin. The cookie dough, normally chocolate chip cookie dough especially, has a grittiness to it. Mm. This does not have they're, that at all. They don't even taste good by themselves. No, when you get one by themselves, no. It's, it's nothing. So it's a feast for your eyes, but not for your heart, for yeah. your tummy. <laughs> um, the best part of this is the cake and all that whipped cream underneath mm -hmm. because it is thick. It, it's a very moist and um, it's a nice texture. Yeah. I really like the texture. Yeah, it's, a, it's a nice chocolate cake. If anything brings it down, it's the it's cookie, the dough, cookie dough because they don't have the texture or the flavor mm -hmm. of chocolate chip cookie dough. Now, they don't even taste really sweet or anything. No. They're just really, uh, actually, they, they bring it down. Yeah, they, they do. They, they bring it down. Worse. That's the downfall of that. The name, cookie dough, that's the, what the part that you're not going to like mm -hmm. about that. Which is saying, that's Surprise the only chocolate one in the whole bunch. Well, this one has, it has some chocolate. Has chocolate, but that's chocolate cake. Let's try this one next. Okay. This is it has the a hunk of chocolate something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is tuxedo truffle mousse cake, decadent chocolate mousse, uh, layered with rich marble cake and a dark chocolate ganache. Our marble cake just wasn't as chocolate as some. Now your slice might have more chocolate in it, so. It is uh, 670 calories for the entire slice. So these are meant. Uh, they know you're gonna eat the whole thing. They know you're gonna eat the whole thing. You take go ahead, the first No, you one. go ahead and you can get your whatever. Let's get some chocolate back here, too. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, you're going for the bottom. Part. Well, I can't get. I would go for that whole end. I want the whole end, but I can't get it all in one bite. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back. <laughs> Mm. That tastes more like a cake frosting on the top. Okay. You, you just got vanilla cake. I just got the bottom. The bottom's kind Pretty of... Pretty raw. It's disappointing when you eat it by mm -hmm. itself. Yeah, you get that part with some of that chocolate frosting, the mousse. It's actually pretty decent. Um, Something's really thick in there. Like a really thick, dense texture. I'm thinking it's probably the top part. Um, that's okay. It's, it's not overly sweet, is it? No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, the cake at the bottom, that yellow cake. Now we did not buy the small pieces. We did not get out of the freezer. We got those out of just the regular display case. So they have shorter dates on them, but that doesn't matter because they were still in date for many, many more days. Mm. But the reason, the, the only reason I'm saying that is because it's, it's very, it seems drier. That cake is down at the bottom when you get a piece of just that cake, a bite of just that cake, it is drier. Um, that has an okay flavor. Um, I would eat it, you know, um, but it's nothing like, it doesn't taste rich. The chocolate does not have a deep, rich flavor to me. Right. That almost tastes, that middle part, the mm -hmm. white part, mm -hmm. almost tastes like a cheesecakey kind of flavor. Oh, you did it by itself? Yeah. I did a Gordon Ramsay go in there. Or a Paul Hollywood. They got little pieces of it. <laughs> it has a creamier, like a cheesecakey kind of texture. It does. And yeah. the flavor is a little bit, it, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of a tangy yeah, uh, flavor to it. I don't mind this. Yeah, I wouldn't choose bad. it again. No, and the texture is a little grainy for a cake. It's kind of grainy for a, for a cake texture. I thought it was dry. It's dry too. Could, that could be leaning towards the graininess. Okay, we're gonna try the tiramisu next. This is a tiramisu layer cake, espresso coffee sponge cake, real whipped cream, cream cheese, and mascarpone mousse. Yeah. A fifth of the cake is 230 calories. Go for it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna. So many it. different layers. It's kind of. I know. Look at that. It's gotta go for it. Okay. Mm. Put this whipped cream on top. Yeah. 
Mm. That flavor, that cool whip, the whipped cream on top is really nice. Well, it said mascarpone mousse. That's really nice on top. You would, that's that's probably uh, would be your favorite flavor. This has a very pleasant coffee flavor mm -hmm. without being over the top at all. No, like um, it's nice. yeah, it's not. It's um. It tastes like a sweet cream coffee. Like it doesn't, it, there is sweetness there, but it tastes like a, a creamer coffee. Like, uh, like there's some creaminess to it. Yeah, um, you actually put some sugar and, and sweetener in there. Yeah, I do like uh, the cake. I think it's nice. I think it works out better, this cake, than the other, because mm -hmm. there are so many, um, it has layers of cake, and then you get the whipped cream, and then mm -hmm. cake, and then the whipped cream. It so makes it very moist. It does. It, it's a, it's because it's a thin cake layer, but an equally thin layer of um, the the cream, and I just think that is adding moisture to it that the tuxedo likes. The yeah. tuxedo was a tuxedo thicker, needed some more layers. It was a yes, it was a thicker cake, and that's what I think we're going to encounter when we get to the next one too. Although it's got some layers too, but they're very very thin. They're thick. They're thick. That one at the bottom is thick, oh, okay. just like the tuxedo, yeah. the cake. Yeah. So what did you think of that? I like that. Um, the top is the best. The best layer is the top layer. Uh -huh. um, I'm not sure, sure I like the, the white layers in there. Because I think it said it used to some kind of frosting. And the cream cheese, I don't know. I'm usually I'm mad about cream cheese. Mm -hmm. um, that doesn't taste like a good cream cheese. It's um, okay. This is one I would actually get out of the bunch. That, that I did like. Mm -hmm. Well, I do like the cake on that cookie dough. I like, like the cake on the cookie dough part too. I would just scrape all the cookie dough off. I would too. <laughs> I would too. There's truly, there's no point in eating all those, the cookie dough because you're not getting anything out of it at all. I would take it actually off, makes it worse. scrape off all the cookie dough and just eat the cake. Yeah, because the chocolate cake's really good. Actually, you're right. If you just think about, if you did it that way, I would eat the chocolate cake. Also. Yeah, I would pick that one because yeah. I do love it, that yeah, cake. Um, this is the strawberry shortcake. Real strawberries, real whipped cream, eight decadent layers. It is 520 calories for the slice. Oh, so it's not too awfully bad. Oh, you go first on that one. See, I was just gonna go like this. Yeah, you go ahead. Cause, cause you, yeah, see that's a good idea. But you're getting a lot of cake in that face. Yeah, you, you've got a lot of cake. I've got a lot of stuff. That cake is pretty moist though. There's not a lot of flavor in the cake, but it's not bad. It's kind of kind of plain. I love the strawberry though. The strawberry's like fresh strawberry. Mm -hmm. It's like they ground it up. Mashed they it. pulverized it <laughs> in a like a food processor or yeah. something. And it's it's like real strawberry. It's not it's not like that gel. It's not the strawberry gel mm -hmm. that you that you buy in a tub. And it's that, not a jam or jelly either. No, that's actual like real strawberry. Mm -hmm. And it it, the compote? it really comes through. I want to taste just the top. The the bottom part actually had more flavor than the top half did. <laughs> Cause I tried like this. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have as much flavor as like that bottom part is. The the whipped cream has a little bit of flavor to it. It has a little bit of sweetness, but not a lot. No, it's not much, much. It's not much more than you would get from like Cool Whip, really. Yeah, a little bit, just a touch of vanilla. Yeah. So uh, this uh, fresh strawberries. Th that was th nice. That's good. Yeah, it's nice. It's refreshing. Well, look so, at that layer of whatever that is. I know. It's thick. Uh, this is lemons and cream. Real lemon curd, that's what I thought it was gonna be. Real lemon curd, real whipped cream in eight decadent layers. It's 250 calories for a fifth. Now, do you want that yeah, lemon curd? It. It's got a thick layer of lemon curd, but it's also got a thick layer of cream. Wow, like there's lemon curd at the bottom too. Yeah. That whole thing is lemon curd. I'm gonna have to eat this in sections. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's yeah. got. I don't like it. It's got that sharp lemon mm -hmm. flavor. You know it's lemon, but it comes across as almost like raw, suck out a lemon lemon. Yeah, I don't like. But they that. didn't add enough sweetness to it. No, mm -mm. no it's very sour. 
Try a bite that doesn't have that. No, foot. I don't want any more. It's not as thick over here though. Try try it just over here. I really don't want any more. It I really don't get that don't. brown part on the bottom. Okay. I just do not like yeah, it. Yeah, try that top part. Okay. The top part's better. It's not as strong. It's still pretty strong, but it's not as strong. No, you're right. It's that it's that it's a darker okay. orangey kind of yellow. So I got two really thick bands of that card. Wow. It's it's a little too tart. You know what? I still uh, oh, it's still wild. yeah. I said, gosh, <laughs> it's very uh, pungent. It's just um, a punch of flavor. I do not like that. And just I want to put it out there. The way that I eat in these videos is not the way that I would eat if I was in front of people. And I know we're, on, we're who, no telling how many people will watch this, but like if I were invited to have dinner with William and Catherine, I would not be licking my fork. And, <laughs> I would. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would not do that. I would be a dainty flower, okay, for I'd dinner. Be too, I'd be too uh, nervous to eat. I would be, yeah, I would be very delicate and dainty. So just know that I know we probably look like animals. We're trying this, to do this review for you all, so we, we, you don't want to sit here and watch this. And quickly, before. so yeah. so you don't want the leftovers from what this cake on the next one so you have to lick the fork off and all that i wouldn't do that if i i just want to put that out there we're really not animals that we would be better if we were uh, don't be afraid to invite us for dinner <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm glad we tried that one last though because that's by far the terrible. worst one <laughs> i hate it i hate it bad. i think it's awful i do not like you know the, what i think some people absolutely love that sharpness and ooh, that very gosh. very strong but we've had lemon, lemon curd before and it's never been like that no it's, this is a very sharp sour yes. lemon normal normal lemon curd is is actually really nice yeah, and it's, sweet. it's there's a sweetness to it and everything this did not have that this is actually like just a punch it's there's just nothing sweet about it at yeah, all it, it's a little cleaner or like i think it's it's because they left it more just like with the strawberries it's very natural strawberries i think the lemon they it's it's real lemon and and so they just didn't add enough sweetness to yeah. it and it needed some artificial to it to and make it good these don't have frosting they have whipped cool. cream, whipped, which whipped doesn't cream. which doesn't add a lot of. It's not going like, to diminish. It's not going to help to but, tamper. But that. it's not going to add any sweetness to it, really. I right. mean, they, they really don't have much of anything. It adds a texture. Right. But beyond texture, you're really not getting any like flavor from it or sweetness or anything like that. So, right. so anytime you use a, a whipped topping, then, then it's really not going to do much for you. Okay. So, 100% honesty. If you saw these at Kroger again, would you buy any of them? I wouldn't personally buy any of them okay. again. Uh, they, You're in the mood for a cake for dessert. I wouldn't buy these. They have okay. other slices of cake at Kroger that are better, that mm -hmm. I like better. Um, they also have some that are worse. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so you have to <laughs> but, watch. But I tell you what, I would, if I was in the mood for something sweet at the bakery at Kroger, I would buy cookies. Oh, because they have some nice cookie, big huge, cookies in there. Huge, huge um, cookies. They're really good. I would never buy cake. Okay, so you have to buy one of these. I would probably buy the chocolate and scrape the top off. That's what I'm doing too. Yeah, I'm totally gonna buy this cookie dough. I'm gonna scrape that entire layer off the top. Yeah, you can leave some of the chocolate on the top because it's got a chocolate like yeah cream on the top. And I'm gonna eat the rest of that cake because of that cake is actually really, it's a nice really good. It's a nice flavor. It has the right amount of sweetness and everything. My second pick so, would be the strawberry shortcake. My second one. Cause I thought it was a, the, the cake is, was very moist and had I did too. Flavor. I think I'm gonna go with the tiramisu and then the strawberry yeah. shortcake. I do, cause I do like that coffee flavor and I do like that it's a lighter coffee, a creamer coffee. Uh, and I do like the moistness, the, the ratio of the, the amount of layers with right. the amount of cream. Yeah, I can see that. So I'm gonna go with that one second, but then I would go with the strawberry. I, wish I wouldn't get would. the tuxedo again. No. And I definitely wouldn't get that. No, I wouldn't either. Uh, I wish they had went, I know they're probably trying to save on cost with the whipped crop frosting. Mm -hmm. I wish they'd put like one layer of frosting, either on Maybe the very top. Maybe it doesn't top, stay as fresh as long or something. Uh, no, you would think it's I, probably would, cost. I would think it's cost. 
It's break off. Um, it break but I don't know. I don't yeah. know that. But I really wish they had added a layer either on the bottom or in the middle or something like that of actual frosting. Mm -hmm. um, it would have sweetened them up a lot. It mm -hmm. would have added a lot of flavor to some of these that they were kind of lacking in, in flavor. I do think whipped cream is much, much cheaper. So, oh, and it always, that's the, always the bottom cream, line yeah. is the cost. So, I'm sure that's why it's the cost. Uh, but if you've had any of these, you can let us know your thoughts. I'm sure they have more flavors. Yeah, this um, is the first time we've ever seen them. So. Yeah, the, yeah, we just, uh, we found these five and, and uh, you know, we thought we'd try these. But they probably have red velvet or they, they might have key lime or whatever. These were just what we saw. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll have pictures for you at the end. And thanks for watching.